between my chickens, my pigs, and the worms, I'm just one spoke in the wheel. What's up everybody? Bill with Honest Open Permaculture Hop Farm and we're standing in the middle of the potatoes. Let's do some harvesting. We have about 20-30 foot row right here and about a 20 foot row here we need to harvest. Now here it looks like there's nothing in here. That's because the potatoes have already died back. In the next row they're still alive a little bit but struggling. They, they can go along with the other row. Alright, so let's just get down in there and start pulling stuff up. Here's a plant right here that's died. I'm gonna come in and pull it straight up and we'll see what's in the bottom of it. Oh yeah. Drop that there for you. Look at those red potatoes just popped right out. So we're gonna go down this whole row and each little mound and dig out all those red potatoes, put them in this bucket over here. Some good looking potatoes. The red ones are my favorite. So how did we grow these potatoes this year? We used leaf compost to grow these beautiful red potatoes. And that is it. Well, besides the chickens prepping this area for me, so they fertilized it, cleared the grasses for me and as soon as I pulled them off I came through with a load of leaf compost and put it over the potatoes so threw the potatoes straight on the ground I didn't even dig them in after I, after I moved the chicken tractor I just threw them straight on the ground and then threw the leaf compost over them. I used to hill up my potatoes a lot but I have found for me anyways it's not worth the work to keep hilling my potatoes. I did hill them up once, so they grew. They got to about, oh no, six inches or so. The plant did, got to about six inches. And then I held them up with some more leaf compost. And that was it, I did one hill with them. Oh, we got something in here eating them. One reason I should get them out. And so far, so good, it has worked pretty well. I have grown them just straight in soil before, works good. I've done roof stout methods with tomato potatoes before, works pretty good. I think those were the smallest potatoes that I've gotten when I did potatoes in the roof stout method. They didn't grow out quite as big as these. I have not tried them in straight wood chips yet. That's one thing I would like to try eventually. These are looking great. And growing them in this leaf compost is also really good because it's the soil is really loose. Your potatoes need a really loose soil. And leaf compost is definitely loose and holds moisture well. Now I have tried growing in potato towers also. When I used to live in the city, I tried growing in buckets and then mounding them all the way up and through the bucket. And I found that just after the second mound, you, I don't know, I just didn't get very many potatoes out of it. And it seemed like a waste of time and a waste of effort to keep mounding and keep mounding and keep mounding to maybe get potatoes that are this big when you keep mounding. Now some of these potatoes I cut and some of them I left whole. All depending on what the potato looked like. How big it was, how many eyes it had on it. Beautiful, beautiful. You need to make sure you search really good throughout the soil because you could lose, leave behind these little new potatoes. They're delicious to roast. I don't know, I might get a record of how many potatoes I get out of this uh, 25 foot, that's about 25, 30 foot row. I am pulling potatoes out everywhere. I hope I'm not saying tomatoes here and there. They are all over the place.
place, guys. Leaf compost may be the way I'm doing them from now on. And if a lot of you don't know, your local municipalities, your local cities, a lot of local cities give away leaf compost every single year. The cities that go around and suck up the leaves on the side of the streets, they usually give that stuff away. And if they don't give it away, they sell it at a very cheap price. So if you're close to a city, check to see if they give if they do leaf compost. Man, the worms in here are freaking huge. Look at this guy. I may garden by myself, but I'm not the one putting in all the work, that's for sure. Between my chickens, my pigs, and the worms, I'm just one spoke in the wheel. Five years I've been growing potatoes. Like I said, in containers, Ruth Stout Garden, straight in the ground. This is the first year I've done leaf compost. And oh my goodness. It's like the never ending potato bed. I didn't know I could get this many potatoes out of a 20, 30 foot section. I was thinking I was gonna come down here, harvest these two roast potatoes in like 30 minutes and be done. I spent 30 minutes on this just one bed harvesting all these potatoes. I'm not gonna have a big enough bucket. I thought for sure this bucket was gonna be way too big for what I'm doing. I got a whole nother row to go. This one's almost full. Everywhere I dig up, there's potatoes everywhere. I didn't water these things one time. I didn't weed them one time. I planted them, or I threw them on the ground, covered them, about three, four weeks later, mounted them up, and that's it. This is the bed that never ends. It goes on and on, my friend. The endless potato bed all the way to the edge. I mean like right on the edge. There's even huge potatoes growing right there. Y'all have to see this. Ugh. I'm gonna walk past you. Holy moly. We still got this row to do. Guys, leave a comment down below. Have y'all grown potatoes and, and leaf compost and leaf mold before and have gotten a unreal harvest from it that was this row right here about max 30 foot i'm gonna have to weigh these when i get up back up to the house and see how much we got total i need to hurry up and go through this row i did not think it was going to take me this long i gotta work tonight so let me hurry up and go through this row i'm sure you guys don't want to watch me do a whole nother row i'll just show you the end product we're gonna do the last one on this row together last one Tater, tater, tater. Seed potato is still on there. All right, all right. Boom, boom. See if there's any more in the pile here. Yep. Here's one. Off that one plant. Not too bad. If you couldn't tell, I'm pretty excited about this potato harvest. Like I said, this is the biggest harvest I've got out of this small of an area with potatoes. Look at that. That bucket, that's a big old planter bucket right there. Pretty much slammed full of red potatoes. And over here we got us a banana box over halfway full of Yukon Goals and some uh, Finger Links, I think those other ones are called. But holy moly, that took twice as long as I thought. And it wasn't one of those like, oh man, this is taking so long, why is it? And it's like, 
yes, this is taking so long because there's more. I'm, you know, each time I pull out three extra ones than I thought, or, you know, an extra bundle, that's an extra $5 in my pocket. Or an extra meal we don't have to go to the store and buy that we can cook ourselves. We're gonna throw all these on the mower here, right up to the house, pull out a scale, and let's weigh this harvest. Back up at the house, broke out the scale. Didn't break out my, uh, my produce scale. It would take me hours to weigh all this on the produce scale, just a, one that you put fruit on the top of it and it gives you like an ounces and maybe one or two pounds. So I broke out the bathroom scale. So it may be kind of hard for y'all to see. Let's set this thing. Not sure if you can see that. We're gonna do the Yukon Gold potatoes first. You can tell the Yukon Golds look nice. There's some pretty, some really big ones in here too. Some nice Yukon Golds. Oh, gotta reset it. This is saying 16.6 pounds. Not sure if y'all can see that. So 16.6 pounds on the Yukon Golds. We got some rustic potatoes here. These look pretty good. Let's see, the rustics are weighing 19 and a half, 19.6. Now it's time for the big harvest. Hopefully we can get this and see it because this bucket's huge. The red potatoes. Oh my goodness. 52. Not sure if y'all can see that down there. 52.2. So 52 pounds. Okay, so what's that? 52 plus 19 and a half plus 16 and a half. Let's do some math real quick. So the 19 plus 16, that's 36. That's 52. 88 pounds. Whew, it felt heavier than that. I'll, I'll say that for sure. We got over 80 pounds of potatoes. My goodness. That's awesome. I really appreciate you guys watching this. If you would, and you haven't already, consider subscribing. I'd love to have you. It's down there in the corner. Click on that little button. And if you want to know every time I put a video out, hit the little bell icon that's right beside it. It'll let you know every time I put a video out. Also, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and share this with friends. Thank you guys.